Right here, call the most valuable player for 
boy Snoop Dogg, the niggas a real nigga, put it down, LBC. I want to give it up for all the players in the house. It's all love, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to have a good time to party, you know what I'm saying? That's it. And I want to give a shout out to his girl, Tanil, and his lovely family, my nephews, and little Griffins, and uh, his sisters, his father, and all his kids. Shit! Yeah, she's representing yeah. one time. Best friend right here. We want you. We want you. You deserve that, cuz. Any given day, my nigga. You the most valuable player in my life. Believe that. Sure. Skip it, Jack. Pimp, pimp, hooray! Pimp, pimp, hooray! Pimp, pimp, hooray! He had to get it, man. Now check it out. This next award right here. This award means a lot to me because this is my first time ever giving this award out. This is the Snoop Dogg Lifetime Achievement Award. Yeah, that's right, y'all. The Snoop Dogg Lifetime Achievement Award. Yeah, it ain't like the Stevie Wonder Achievement Award or, or the Bill Cosby Achievement Award. This is real Mackin right here. The Snoop Dogg's Lifetime Achievement Award goes to none other than my friend, my pastor, my spiritual advisor, my left hand man with my right hand going wrong. Here it is. The mystical, the magical John Bishop Magic Coaches that's in here and my AD, Miss Andrews. I see you over there. 
in a real way. It's real talk. Sometimes the kids will wake you up, you know what I'm saying? They help you understand what you out here doing, what you got to do. And I'm going to say that because I'm doing it for the kids because that's the future. And all you old folks that got something bad to say about me, fuck y'all. Excuse me, man. I in front of your mama, but I had a little bit too much to drink. And you know how it was back in the 70s when you used to give me that slip small make a bull, so excuse me for that. I had to do it. Church. Church. Hey, back. Okay, now what's the next award? Let me do this, please. Next award is... Okay, we'll do it then, church. Okay, hey, listen, y'all. You know, I always said, in order for us to ever be somebody, we got to give it to each other. Nobody else going to lift us up but each other. Snoop Dogg, Father, come to the stage with me, please. Uncle Jumbo, come on over in here. It gives me great pleasure and a great honor, and this is special, not only because we're here because of Snoop Dogg, but all of us know we didn't watch VH1, BET, and a lot of other channels, and we know this man has made a great sacrifice. He has weathered the storm. He has been through so many things. You know, like people say, if I could only be in his shoe. You right, Rio. Come on up here, Rio. Yeah. You know, Rio. you know how we said if we could walk in their shoe, but believe me, we can't stand a pair of some of our shoes. It's too much for us to bear. And you know, it has come a time that we have admitted that, and we admit it now, that big Snoop Dogg shoes are too big for us. But we follow him, we praise him, we lift him up in prayer. You know, we cover him with the blood of Jesus, you know. Amen. So they, that's what we got to do today, you know what I mean? We know the enemy is on the attack, but I know there's some Christians in here tonight. And